There was a rally, a heated protest, and a candlelight vigil outside provincial court in Vancouver Friday morning. Members from the Chinese and Syrian communities came together in support of Marissa Shen's family as the man charged in the 13-year-old's murder made his first appearance in court. We are standing with Marisa Shen and uh, her family. Yeah, I'm a, a mom, and uh, I feel the same with Marisa Shen's mom. Feel the same with the family. Uh, feel sorry for them. Very sorry. We need the, uh, you know, the voice to support the family of victim, and we also need the, also, uh, the security of our border and also the, you know, the safe our country and our city and our community. 28-year-old Ibrahim Ali is charged with first-degree murder in the death of Marissa Shen. Friday's appearance was made in person, and it was brief. He looked tired and a little stunned as an interpreter translated the proceedings in Arabic. Ali is a Syrian national who came to Canada 17 months ago as a refugee. He was living in Burnaby, not far from Central Park, where Marissa's body was found in July of 2017. As police appealed for information in the case, they released this video of Marissa at a Burnaby Tim Hortons restaurant, taken just hours before her body was found. The investigation has become one of the largest homicide cases to ever take place in B.C. Police say the young teen's murder was random and Ali had no previous criminal record. He showed little emotion as he listened to the proceedings inside a quiet courtroom. And outside the courthouse, more and more people are showing up in support of the Shen family. Many very vocal, some shouting no bail, others being very silent but making a statement by lighting candles. And some protesters who gathered outside questioned Canada's immigration system under Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Imagine if you have a little girl 13 years old, if her life got terminated suddenly, no one can stand here. If I were her father, I don't believe I can stand here and speak any words. But what, what I am uh, against personally, not a... Not a uh, Representing anyone, yes, I really feels feels angry with the prime minister. But members of the local Syrian community fear this high-profile case will shed a negative light on Syrian refugees. We want to show our solidarity with the family and also condemn such a horrible crime, no matter who is the killer. If he was an immigrant or a Canadian or a Syrian or whatever, justice needs to be served today and that's what we stand for. After Friday's proceedings, Ali's lawyer said little about his client. We all feel horrible for that child. That have you spoken to his family, Ali's family? I have. And what are they saying? They're puzzled and they're horrified by the allegations. Ali's case has been adjourned until Friday, October 12th, so his lawyer can review evidence in the Crown's case. In Vancouver, Greg Harper, City News.